Bruce Lee's popularity was not solely due to his status as an actor. Although he was born in the United States and held American citizenship for various reasons, like many overseas Chinese, he was proud of being Chinese. Viewers who watched his films, especially the first three, could sense a strong national flavor. Indeed, it was he who made the word Kung Fu widely known internationally. Those who detract Bruce Lee by merely labeling him as an American should cease their unwarranted accusations. Even today, Bruce Lee has not been defied in the film industry or in terms of his influence. Instead, his reputation has been tarnished by the one half way of some trolls and individuals pretending to be Bruce Lee online. However, abroad, his influence is comparable to that of native giants like Elvis Presley and the Beatles. In an era of severe racial discrimination and anti-Chinese sentiment, this was incredible. Questions about Bruce Lee's kung fu prowess and whether he could defeat someone else never cease to emerge. But what I want to say is that these questions are truly meaningless. Firstly, even if Bruce Lee's kung fu was exceptional, it was in the 1960s and 1970s, when boxing, karate, and other martial arts were documented in video footage. Even the world champions of that time, viewed from today's perspective, appear amateurish in many techniques. With the development of sports, combat techniques, training levels, and nutrition levels have continued to progress. As mentioned earlier, there was even no concept of no-holds-barred fighting and free combat at that time. It was Bruce Lee who introduced these concepts, which is precisely his greatness, not whether he could defeat a particular individual. If today's world champions were to return to their era, could they propose Bruce Lee's viewpoints and theories in the context of that time? Obviously not, as most people lack the cultural level and expressive ability. An even more absurd question is whether Bruce Lee could defeat Ako Micro, Jackie Chan, and others. Their main occupation is acting. What we should discuss is who has better acting skills, who has a greater influence, and who has won more awards.